On behalf of the Chicago Drone Racers, welcome to another night of drone racing. If you're watching this video, that means you're interested in coming out. And that's the case, we'd love to have you. So one of the first things we do here is set up. Everyone pitches in, grabbing gates, setting up the course, and the course is different each week. We like to keep it unique. It keeps a nice, fun environment where you're fresh and you get to see some kind of changes. With everyone set up the course now, once the course is ready to go, the first heat goes, they all set up the quads near the pad. We have a dedicated area where quads take off from, and then we have another dedicated area where the quads land from. There may seem like we have a lot of rules, but there's a really good reason for that. And one of the main things is that you have fun. And it may seem like a lot, but we're going to cover them and explain why. Okay, I'm standing here with Ankur. Why do we use 25 milliwatt? So 25 milliwatt, what we found uh, last year, we were actually using 600 and we were only able to get about four people in the air at any given one time. So at the beginning of the season, uh, we actually started trying it out with 25 milliwatts. And what happens in the dome, at least, is you get less interference. And so as a result, we get eight people up in the air, which basically means throughout the evening, we can get way more laps. That's a good reason, too. The more laps you can put in, the more fun, the more thing you can be off flying. Yeah, exactly. It's a very good reason. I'm standing here with Jerry Quillen. We have all the chairs set up behind the net. Why do we have set up behind the net? We've actually had a couple close calls where guys were trying to land their quadcopter and instead of landing nice and gently, they kind of impact really hard before they expected to and then what that, what that happens is it, it uh, like confuses the quad, the flight controller, and it kind of spazzes out and it takes off really fast. Almost, almost uncontrollably, if you're new to flying, it can be uncontrolled. So we actually had one come within about 10 feet of hitting somebody. So the next week we put the net up. So we don't want to mess with that. So now we fly behind the net. That's really cool. Yeah, you want to be safe. I don't, I don't want that happening to me. No. If that thing hit your face and you're especially not watching with goggles on. Yeah. It, doesn't sound like a good time. No. All right, I'm standing here with Brian. Hey, so how long have you been into this hobby? Uh, since about last July. Last July? Uh, a little less than a year. So you're fairly new to CDR? Yeah, sort of, nine months or so. Say you wanted to get into this hobby, what would you recommend? Brand new, I mean, if you are never flown one before, I would start with something like a Tiny Whoop or something small. Either learn line of sight or a sim, just so you can get an idea of how the controls work and you have a better feel for it. I, I did a sim before I flew any real quad, as far as just acro goes. And that uh, really, really helped a lot, a lot when it came to flying. All right, I'm here with Paul. Paul, how are you? Good. So, Paul, I see some pilots standing there behind. Other pilots wearing goggles. What are they doing? Uh, they are spotting, uh, and we're practicing spotting because, um, especially for the new guys, you know, a lot of this is driven by safety. When you go into an actual race, you have to spot. It's part of your job, and you can't skip it because every heat, you have to spot for the heat that's in front of you. Because during a race, you know, you're so focused on flying, you don't count your own laps, and counting laps is used as part of the race results. That's really good, good answer. Okay, Francis, Francis is a good guy. And one of the reasons why Francis is a good guy, because he got yours truly here in the Chicago Drone Racing. Francis, how do you get so many people involved in this hobby? Whenever I'm talking to you or I, we, we're having a good conversation, you're always helping out someone. You're always so generous. You're always giving, providing the answers. It's just like, you love working on drones, right? If I'm not doing anything else, then like I'm there, you know, like to help out. Because I mean, it's not really an easy hobby to get into, you know, that's why like it's always good to like ask somebody who knows. I'm just there to like help out. <laughs> that's going to wrap up today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you like this, look down below for more information. You're going to want to look there for any of the CDR information. There's going to be our Facebook pages, how to get involved. Go from there. And if you did like this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing either here or up here, or there, wherever I feel like putting it. Thanks for watching. Something, something catchy. So if you're like right there, we're level, right? I'm here with Jared. 
Do I hold that? You want me to hold no, that? no, I'm just joking. Okay. I'm just because you're kind of really taller than me. I just really feel like an inferior man right now. Like yeah, yeah. I made a lot of decisions in life. Drink a lot of milk growing up. Milk. My mom was right this whole time. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry, mom.